I love coming to Natalie's. They're always glad to see me and I always have a good time. Let's see what they got going on today. All right, well, I'm at Natalie's, one of my favorite stores. Let's see here. Let's see what they got here. They got the Jefferson's Reserve. The old charter. Got the blue note. And this copper cask is a store pick of theirs. I was hoping I'd get to talk to the manager today, but he is out uh, helping other people, so I will have to kind of do this one solo today. I'm going to come down through here. We'll kind of look and see what they've got over here on the, on the Canadian stuff. And I'm going to take a look at some of the tequila this time, I think. Let's take a look at some of the things they've got going on here. The whistle pig. Still have not pulled the trigger on any of this Penelope. A lot of people uh, love it or hate it. So, And uh, I still think this is uh, something that people don't need to sleep on. The price is great and it will be super popular later. Let's see these single barrel. It looks like there's a 129 proof and 100.3 and 100 and let's see 129.3. So got that single barrel select. Really can't go wrong with this bonded rye. Perfect for fall weather. Of course, some people like that Tennessee Fire and that apple and that honey. I guess if you took all three of those, has anybody done that? Made like a apple cider drink. There's my daddy's whiskey. Kind of cut through here and see if there's anything else exciting. Got the old Forester. So this is the bottle and bond, the cast. And everybody said to look out for the founders. And I don't, I don't, I think I missed my chance for the founders out there got the old forester woodford and then we got the high west which i might have any of that either yeah, a little bit of yellowstone you might have any of the yellowstone what do y'all think of the yellowstone you let me know there's jim beam and all the flavored stuff Long Branch. And here's the Russells. Um, I'm curious about this rye. If anybody's had the rye. I don't know why I'm on a rye kick right now. I drank a lot of uh, rye here recently. I guess it's just the cooler weather. So we got the 10, the 34, and the single. So got that Oceans. A lot of people are talking about that. I just, I don't know. I mean, is it a gimmick? Is it not a gimmick? I mean, all that sloshing around, what do we think? And I've kind of decided not to do anything with Smoke Wagon, only because uh, just everyone said not to, basically. So uh, I do what people tell me to do, usually. Let's see, there's that Dr. McGillicuddy's Southern Comfort. I have this old tub at the house. I like it, good stuff. Maker's Mark. I don't see any dunkers in there. Everybody loves the bullet. <laughs> Not really. So, I, once again, I, I may put a poll out there or just ask people's opinion. If I'm only going to get one rye, what should it be? Should I, should I get the Victors or should I break down and, and get the rare breed? Or. The old Forester. I like that old Forester price. And I don't see. I don't think they have the Johnny Walker, uh, Johnny Walker, Jack Daniels rye. So if I'm gonna get a rye, what do you think? Old Forester, the rare breed, or get the Victors? I've not had any of this at all, by the way. Uh, so you just tell me kind of what what I should do there. There's the Wiseman. There's the Rabbit Hole. And the Calum. I think you don't pronounce the T. The Calum. Down here again for the very old Barton. When I get my very old Barton, when I do get my bottle, it's gonna come from here. I appreciate. It. They always, they pretty much always have it. Thank goodness they got Fireball. I was worried. I got the old Ezra. Some people were asking about the price of those. And I think pretty much the only thing we ever see around here is small batch in the port barrel. I think there's a single barrel. Um, and you know, I had some. I've had this twice, the 1792, and it drank a lot hotter than whatever it was. I think this is like. Uh, 93 proof to me that was uh it was hot so all right we got 
Oh wait, what about the Nam Creek rye? Maybe put that in the mix as well. Uh, tell me, tell me everybody's favorite rye. This is a small batch here. A lot of people are. Uh, this is allocated where they're at, and we've got it. And uh, got a bottle of this at the house. Really like it. And I got a bottle of this. It's a store pick that I'm looking forward to opening. I don't know that they do they have a. The filling station has a rye. I need to check and see. Go back down here to the bottom again. Got that Evan Williams. Bottled and bond. I've got a little bit of that at the house, I think. I got the Elijah Craig. The Blue Note. I got the Cast Drink Barrel. And the Redwood. And I, I said mistakenly in a video that they kill a tree every time they you get a bottle. It's not true. They, they, they plant a tree. Pretty bottle. Got the Bards down. This is probably if you're not drinking this this is what I think whiskey tubes gonna be start talking about and how this is gonna start coming remember you saw it on the shelf because it's gonna be gone at the four roses All right. Got one bottle of Doc Swinson's down there is that, uh, it's got a green label is that a rye let's see is that a rye that is a rye that's another one finished in rum cast interesting tell me if that's a rye I should get probably gonna get a rye next been drinking this at night when it's in the cool weather. Nice. Let's see. There's a hole in station. And more tropics. I got this. Got got the Blantons. If you're needing it. Woodenville. And then Garros. I can't believe it. I don't know why they put that on the top shelf. I guess it won't fit on the bottom. And they got a purple top. And slide over here to the Scotch and the Irish whiskey. Let's see if there's anything over here that we can't live without. The best. Right. I love it. And I hate to tell everybody, I told you, they sold out of the Offerman. That was a. Uh, you got the little sticker up there, so kind of sad, but I'm glad it's out there. Someone's out there enjoying it. And people have asked. I've not had any of this. I'm going to get the multi pack. Probably do a, a Christmas thing with it uh, when, when they come out. I think there's going to be a Christmas version where it has all these. I think the Santa Bow, from what I've heard, is, is a good one to ease people into uh, into Scotch. So, oh, maybe a little of that rye. Oh, I've not had that. I don't know if that's. It's a bit much for me to pull the trigger on without knowing, without trying. All right, let's see here. Got some of the Irish stuff here. All right. And they've got all, they have, I think they have the best selection of red breasts of anyone I've seen. So uh, probably gonna be getting this one. I just really want to get a pour. It's just a big commitment for me to, to get one and just not possibly like it. So, what, anything about any of these other ones? I would like to know. All right, let me walk over here. I want to take a look at his, uh, take a look at the bargain table. Everything on this, everything on this table is 50% off. So, I'm gonna try not to get this guy in this video because I don't know why people are camera shy. So, so, I told him, I said, if somebody would buy something off this table and just use my name, They'll get 50% off. Everything on the table is already 50% off, so you don't have to use my name to get it. I'm curious about sorghum. Wait, that's not sorghum. Is that sorghum? I thought there was a sorghum whiskey over here. Oh, here we go. It is sorghum. When I grew up, this is a southern thing. It's kind of like a, a bitter, kind of a bitter sugar. It's made from uh, sorghum. You, so, uh, spicy lemonade. Oh, high west. Now this is something interesting. It's a double rye. Yep, I'm taking this one today. It's a rye. It's half price. Not had any of the high west. Uh, I think it's probably probably going to be something I get there. Well, and they have the bur prairie bourbon too. I'm just going to get the rye. Let's see what else they got over here. I got the backbone bourbon. Like I said, everything on here is going to be half price. So you got to love that. A little bit of the tequila. 
Like, oh, someone bought that other wise man I was thinking about getting. And I don't even know what all this other stuff is. So, so, all right, well, let's go see if they have anything else. I think that supposedly uh, they have something I'd be interested in, but I'm going to check one thing out first. I have, uh, I think I heard that the, these guys were owned by Blanton's, and know anything about blends they're probably going to start allocating uh they'll start allocating tequila what do you think so i, I want to know more about tequila i need you guys to to help me figure out which ones i like i used to drink a lot of just regular old crappy tequila when i was in college i'm just going to kind of give a, a quick overview of it here in the town in, in in memphis it is not allocated so uh there's really not even a, a true secondary market for it so um there's a tequila or a mezcal that you think I should be getting just to add to my bar, just to kind of change things up a little bit. Uh, you know, man cannot live by bourbon and scotch alone. Um, don't ever tell my dad that. He would never have believed that in a million years. So, yeah, there's something out here you think I should be getting. You let me know. Oh, there's a good old Patron. I got a lot of trouble with Patron. Him and his, him and his cousin. Jose Cuervo. Alright, well, let's see what kind of specialty bottles they got today. Alright, here's some of the specialty stuff they have. Got the Larceny C923. They still have uh, the B523, the uh, Elijah Craig. They got the Shanks and Bomberger, or Bomberger and Shanks, if you're interested. They got the Russell Stark Team, which I, is in the running for me for Bottle of the Year. And the Elijah Craig 18, the Willet Purple Top. I got the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, which everybody's excited about. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting the high, high West out here. So, all right. Well, come out to Natalie's. Use my name. They'll say who. And uh, but, but support them because they're, they're great friends of mine. They uh, really let us uh, shoot and just uh, smile and have a good time when we're here.